What's up boys and girls? We're going to try and put some windshield wipers on the Doom Buggy today and got some hopefully important tips to show you. So let's get to work. Windshield wipers. So you'll notice a lot of Doom Buggies don't have windshield wipers and there's a lot of reasons for that. Mainly it's space. There's just not a lot of room under here and even though I have the style with the drop down dash which makes it easier to get inside a lot of them don't have that option. Some of them are fiberglass straight to the hood and don't leave a lot of room. As you can see right here, this is where the pocket is for one wiper arm shaft. The other shaft is over here. So one thing on a Manx dash is I bought this dash from them. So the Speedo hole, I had them pre-cut. So it's just, it is where it is. I figured they can make a better hole than me. So you're kind of stuck with that on that part, or at least I am. And one issue I'm going to have is with the speedometer. So there's roughly an inch of room from this nut back to here, maybe a little more. So let's just say inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter of space that needs to be back here behind the, I'm sorry behind the speedo. So when we stick speedo in there, it takes up room coming out and then we need at least like an inch and a quarter of space from here up and at a slight angle. All right. And then of course there's the whole motor assembly and all that that's going to be up there. But this is going to go in like this at an angle in the dash. Well, the problem we come into is speedometer. The speedometer housing that I have that I want to use is quite thick. All right, and we can see that they just made a aluminum shell and stamped it and a bug should not be a problem. Here's a stock Speedo. Okay, this is a late model one. So it has the vibrator on the back of this fuel gauge. If you have an earlier model, it's not going to really have that. But you can see if you took that out, you'd have plenty of clearance for the wiper arms because this is going to be the point that's going to be the closest to it. So I might end up having to modify the housing. There's the Speedo doesn't really come back this far. It's just this is a chamber for the light. So I am actually have, might have to take a drill and some scissors and fun stuff and modify this to clear because I'm pretty sure this is not going to clear. Or I might have to change my whole gauge setup, which I really don't want to do. But I could. So anyways, boys and girls, we're going to flip the hood over. We're going to start measuring out for the shafts to go through and drill those holes and pray to God that we got it right because you only get one chance at this and that's probably another reason you don't see people do this this is in a prominent spot and if you do it wrong it's going to show so anyways boys and girls let's get started all right so we measured from the center to center of the shafts which I'm going to use metric because it's easier for this and it was 40 centimeters which is 400 millimeters I think so then I marked that center here to center there. All right. And then what I did was you got to remember, you're going to have to be able to secure your wipers. You just can't go willy nilly drilling a hole because you have to have room for the nuts. So I used, took the nut off and set it here where to have a little room to be able to move it. All right. And then made a mark and that's the upper mark. That's the top of the flat. Same thing on each side. So I have my center point. I have this upper point of the nut. Then I measured a nut and the nut is 17 millimeters. Half of 17 millimeters is eight and a half millimeters. So I got my calipers out, set them to 8.5 and made the corresponding mark. Now I know pretty roughly where my center point is to drill the holes. Next I need to drill the hole the size of this. So I need to measure that, get my drill bit in there and drill it. But just remember, you have to have room for your nut. You can't just go saying, hey, I want to put it all the way down at the bottom because right here, you're not going to be able to turn the nut. So you got to be able to remember about that. So anyways, that step is done. So hopefully these, they may not come in your center of your dash for the nubs there. They may come out a little to the side. Really depends on the brand. I've heard some of them, especially early model wipers are closer together, I believe. So that all plays into this, you know. So anyways, we're going to get a drill bit, drill it, 
and hopefully I didn't make a mistake. All right, so we have the holes drilled and had to move them in just a scooch. But uh, that's why we measure twice, cut once, and slap our head once, right? Nothing works as to plan, but it should be pretty close. So now we're going to try and put the uh, wiper assembly in. So I'm going to try and feed it up through the dash hole and in, like so. I have one washer on it, and there's a washer to this side, and the nut. This Volkswagen had a rubber gasket on there, so right now I'm not going to deal with that, I'm just going to try and get this in. There we go, it's on there. Looks like the washers will cover up any uh, debauchery that I've done on the uh, fiberglass there. Let's go down here and look. And this is where my problems are gonna be, is if that arm touches. So I'm gonna try and put, tighten this up give it every chance to pull it back farther and then um, you can see it clears the bar here which is a good thing it looks like the way it was welded before because that's kind of the area it had to go if it was straight across it wouldn't have it looks like it would have hit but these wipers I did make sure work I bought it from a gentleman at a show it had it all wired up and he had it to where it just had a power on the ground he had a little 12 volt battery and could show me it worked so I gladly paid the gentleman the money for that and it actually came with wiper but now we'll put the speedo in there and we'll check and see how much that fits all right so we had clearance issues oh boy did we ever so what i've had to do was the rod that goes across from the motor to the um driver side wiper arm I had to grind it down. I had to grind it down so much that I had to put a gusset in across the bottom to make it clear. And of course, it's like heading straight to the, to the electric motor on the uh, on the speedo there. But let's see if we can get zoomed in. Oh yeah. Sorry, boys. Now that looks like it's touching, but it's not. All right. But I'll show you in operation. You need to always check, get the speedo lined up where it's going to be. I have the dash together. It's going to be there. Let me go this way. All right. Sorry for the grainy video here. Anyway, I think you guys got to see it. Hopefully you did, but it does clear. So. Alright, so what we had to do back here was grind away the original shaft, the uh, actuating rod, which is just a piece of flat stock that goes across to the driver's side and helps make the Titan turn circular motion into repetitive back and forth motion because it goes along this cam and there's an arm and cam that makes it just move back and forth pretty simple so we welded a gusset along the bottom of it because this speedometer that we have from ISP has the speedometer up higher if you notice it's not in the center the center would be right about where the ISP logo is and the reason it's not in the center is the speedometer on the I mean tachometer on the bottom so as you can see, it doesn't come out the center, it comes out above the center. 
So that planted the speedo cable right in the center of this bracket. So we welded this piece of scrap metal on here to give it support so we could grind that all out and clear that. Um, the other piece was the speedometer wanted to get hit by this other arm that goes over to the passenger side to actuate that. And it was the little light bulb holder on the very top. So I had to grind that flat, which got me a little bit of dust on the inside. So I got to take this apart now, clean that out. Just my luck, right? So if you have to grind something like that, put a little piece of paper in there or something, a little plug. Anyways, you might not have that problem with a stock speedometer because this thing is bigger in this area. It's just a tube straight out. Stock speedometers come and they go down right here. And the little speedo cable, I believe, is more in the center. So if you're using a stock speedometer, this may not be a problem. If you're using like a GPS speedometer, probably not going to be a problem at all because those things are only like an inch or so thick. But I wanted windshield wipers, all right? So if you ever get caught in the rain, it would be nice to have a windshield wiper. Not going to work perfect. I know that. But anyways, that's what we had to do here. Um, also, I'm going to be checking all my other little gauges and switches and stuff like that while I'm at it. Um, probably going to go ahead and just drill these out, put those in there. But make sure you get the dash closed and tightened. If you notice, these aren't bent perfect. It could use a little more bend to it. And uh, you're going to have to get your drill bit in there. Oh, yeah. The speedometer is bigger on the outside housing a little bit. So I had to come in here and grind a little relief just for the speedometer to clear a little bit. So that's another thing you might have to do on your setup depending on your gauges. But anyways, boys and girls, the wipers are on and now we got to find a hole for a switch. So get out there, get your projects done and stay tuned for the rest of this build. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Every subscription is massively, massively appreciated. And let's share the videos to other Doom Buggy guys that are trying to get this stuff done. So I'll see you later. All right. Got some of the gauges in. They're not wired up, but they're in there. Got the winch wiper switch hooked up, headlight switch hooked up. The key is in there, the hole for the key, which I made a little bigger than I wanted, but it, well, it's, you know, it is what it is. But we got a battery. Look at that little lithium-ion battery. That way we can have a little bit of air. Now I'm sure my battery does not spin this as fast as it can. But a note about these little air conditioners, I got them pointed all the way over straight, I mean to the side as much as you can. And it makes an angle but not a really good one. Like, I can feel it over here, but it's pointing mostly towards the shifter. Like, straight on. So, just an idea if you ever... With this style, that's kind of what they do. They kind of go straight. 